So I am a real nurse. That's why they call me the nurse. So hello, that's why I really call the nurse. I'm an RN CISSP. I'm the only one in America. There's another one in Amsterdam that I try and go see regularly. So nice guy. So uh, I'm really into psychic hacking and this type stuff. Um, uh, tour camp. If anybody was at tour camp, we, they did a lot on psycho, uh, psychosonics and stuff. And then um, uh, Nauticon. They had uh, rain was at Nauticon. We got together. It's like now I've been using psychosonics. I like it. Some of it is pure shit. It doesn't work. And some of it works. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you about the basics, how to make it, show you the history of it, and then from there, what we'll do. Hey, I'm live. Uh, what we'll do from there is I'll take you into how to cook these psychosonic drugs. So, and I'll show you films about they're freaking out in Iowa about them. Ah, our kids are taking sound. Yeah. Okay, right up front. I see it's pulled up. Thank you, kind sir. Perfect. Ooh. All the technology works, and we're only a matter of minutes late. Yeah, yeah. The techno gods smile on us today. Uh, let's see, psychosonics. Let me pull this up to keep me on track or I'll get lost and things like that. Doop a doop a doo. <laughs> yeah, after this, it becomes drowned myself in ETOH alcohol. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, uh, I like the whole sound stuff. You know, I work with, uh, write articles for socialengineer.org. Oh, if you have not visited social-engineer.org, I am sorry, you are missing the easiest attack vectors you have ever seen, okay? Visit the site. If you didn't read the articles, they had articles on how to win at playing poker through social engineering tells. So it's a pretty good. The difference between social engineering and a lot of this is, it, uh, this is independent of words. Doesn't need any words or anything like that to make all the noise. All right. Oh. I figured anybody with a flaming bra and more weapons, I, I, you got to have good stuff like this. Okay? Uh, oh, yeah, that's me. I am a private practice informatics nurse. So you all go back and say, I'm not an informatics nurse. And everybody goes, what's that? Um, lots of syllables. That means I make good money. Nursing science, information, and computer science, all three jumbled together. Anybody been to the hospital? Do you notice they've computerized them? So I'm a pen tester. I hack hospitals for a living. Oh, the perfect job for a nurse. I'm sorry, board. Your security sucks. Pay me lots of money. Uh, let's see. Neurohacking. This is, you've heard a couple tracks on neurohacking. And neurohacking is old and new all at once. We have new tools, a new way of combining them that make neurohacking even easier. The big break for me and where I really find benefit from this is the fact that, you know, everybody has earbuds now. You put those buds in there, I've infected your MP3s with the sonic sounds I want. Have a nice day. Thanks for shopping. Neurohacking, social engineering is neurohacking because you gotta also inject the sound, but I, I think it's more interesting. Think about it this way. I'm trying to sell furniture. I'm trying to brainwash all of you into buying a new couch, right? And I like put messages behind it, couch, couch, subliminally. Okay, I'm in a different part of the country. They don't call them couches. Is it a couch, a divan, a settee, a Davenport? A, what the hell is it? So how am I gonna use the right words in social engineering to get you to buy that. It's only area specific. That's why it doesn't work on a lot of things. The word sale works, of course, things like that. That's where we get in with neurolinguistics and the whole SENH part. Okay, what is psychosonics? All right, realize everything in the world vibrates. Okay, it has a frequency. Alchemists knew that. Remember your brain, you have different frequencies, alpha, beta, theta, we'll go over that if you didn't have Psych 100. Um, it's really a lot easier, and here's my couch Davenport settee. It was founded by William Dove, who I, Wilhelm, I am sorry, Hendrik Wilhelm. He was one of the first climatologists, and he actually predicted on um, climate, warm, um, climate warming and stuff. Very fascinating man. When it came out, I love his, like, picture. So when it came out, he was like, had three different methods. 
Now, most of the psychic drugs and the stuff you hear is binaural, and that means two ears, okay? You're a smart crowd. Uh, monoral, I won't insult you. That's more versatile, because I don't have to have the buds in both ears. I can actually infect you with just one ear. And then isochronic, come on, you're all smart people. You remember that's the way we shift stuff. It has no timing in it, and it's very random. So it really works, and then the second part of this, I'm going to show you how to create these, the binaurals, all the, uh, hey, I'm an open source, so all open source software, so you can go back and start adding these to your attack vectors. Remember, a friend of ours said, there's no patch for stupidity. And so th this is just one of those, let's add more stupid stuff to our toolbox to affect them. Okay, I spent a long time as a trauma nurse, um, life and death, the military gave me those skills in another life. And these bikers would plow into the concrete wall. We'd get them in the you know, uh, intensive care, and we'd put the God channel on the radio next to their ear while they're in the coma and all of that. And all of a sudden, oh, maybe there's a lawsuit in this. Never mind. So uh, we'd play the God channel. All of a sudden, they'd wake up and they go, I've seen the Lord and stuff. It really does affect you. For older patients, we'd put on like ACDC. You don't need no blood pressure medicine, put that up, put next to the ear, turn it way up, like, oh, oh. yeah, that's the best. Here is what your ear looks like. Do you know hearing is one of the last sounds to go when you're dying? Hey, I see your trauma nurses know about death. It, look how close that is. From here to basically, the, just inside your brain, this is the most connected of all the senses. Have you ever had a song stuck in your head? Yeah. Like, Poker face. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't go away. It's like, where is it? And it's really old ones sometimes. Like, like some old beach boy thinks, where did that come from? Where do these oral images come from? We don't know that shit yet. So if we did, my stuff probably wouldn't work. That's what's great about it. Basically, it's plugged right in. I mean, this is 100. This one's interesting. We currently use some of these things, the Canadians, we have, we wouldn't allow that in our healthcare. The Canadians are, uh, they're doing this for, for better feeding for kids. Hey man, I eat better when I have music, little soft music, everything goes better with that. So, and there's a source. Remember, music tames the savage beast, but we can inject psychosonic frequencies to make them crazy. Okay. I was sitting around with a table with a bunch of friends, and they were talking about it. They'd gone out and looked at one of the psychosonics, Lucifer, and it's like the vision from hell is coming out at you. You'll hear it referred to later. And uh, the guy looks at me and says, I'm so angry. This is so annoying. I could punch somebody in the nuts. So I hope he's in the room. I told him I'd say this. And it's like, okay, it made him so angry he would punch someone in the nuts. Now, this is not as usual. Now, was that the psychosonics, or was that just the annoying sound coming out? I don't care. Maybe you want to punch people in the nuts. That's anger. I'm okay with anger. <laughs> Here are the frequencies. These are, uh, you learn some of these in Psych 100. These are the things you always know. Let's start at the bottom. Oh, I try to make them big enough so everybody can see the slides. Delta, and I'm pretty sure I put a delta on the CD for you. That's, let's fall off to sleep because I've drunk it too much and make the room stop spinning. Oh. One guy yells at the room when it doesn't stop spinning and it doesn't. Uh, theta is for meditation, and you can spend years and years and years, oh, get your mantra out, sit cross-legged, or you can just jack this in. Okay, I'm, I'm into cheap, quick, easy fixes. So just jack the, four, uh, the thetas in. Alpha is relaxation, and on your one, I think you'll find one for airplanes also. You plug that in, you play it, and it, okay, none of them are polluted. I'm not trying to turn you into, like, psychic zombies or anything. It's, it wouldn't be cool. I'd rather do this capital or I'll wait till I get to DC to do those. Okay. So, and Bluetooth. If anybody's ever in the DC airports, run the Bluetooth. And if you fly out of DC, turn your Bluetooth off. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alpha. Beta is what most people walk around it. Well, I would say most of you here in beta. If you go outside, they're not in beta, some of them. So just realize you're a little bit busy. Um, you're active. And the one that most people don't get is the top one. You don't learn about that. And those are the gammas. It's a little bit higher. Remember, recordings are supposed to run from tw 20 to 20,000. 
And that's our regular range. When you tune an orchestra, it's 440A. Okay? So these are known frequencies. We can stick the electrode, shave your hair, stick the electrodes, and measure them out. We know what frequencies different wave patterns of the brains produce. This has been around for ever almost, it seemed like. So these are the basic ones. These are the frequency ranges we're going to be producing. Sorry. <laughs> They're coming for him. The, um, uh, these are the frequent ranges we're going to be producing, and then your desired effect, whatever you want, is the frequency range you inject. Pretty simple, isn't it? I want a Pepsi. I push the button that says Pepsi. Okay? It usually comes out. Now, there's a couple tricks to creating these, and that's why I'm here to show you the tricks to creating them. Okay? Let's talk about military uses. I love kilts, and I put this in in honor of all the kilt people. Sorry to bother you, sir. We were told there's a man in the park wearing a dress, torturing a bag full of cats. I'm like, oh. But think about that. You're coming in from Rome to attack. They played the bagpipes at night. And that, oh, they're weird. I'm not talking Danny boy. They play weird battle stuff. And they're like, what's that noise? And like, ah. It was a classic, classic. Just like we loosen people up with cyber attacks now, they loosen them up with neuro attacks. They're, they weren't dumb back there. And uh, let's see. Uh, these are. <laughs> Neil, Dr. Katz, it, it's like, Neil, are these real? I mean, well, I haven't quite figured them out, but it said sonic tubas. Okay, I like the guys in front. They're like, yes. Um, I'm a Vietnam veteran. This is why I learned about these PTSD. They use these to treat that. And several people said, hey, how about autism? I'm like, I don't know. Did a Google search? Did a literature search? Nothing showed up. Nothing showed up. It's a technology we had. It disappeared, and it came back, just like padlocks. They had them. They couldn't figure them out. Now they're back. The top one was in Vietnam. There were a bunch of speakers. Okay, you know this one. Da 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 da. Yeah. Okay. So we've used those quite a bit. The bottom was an entire airplane that was full of speakers. Okay. Alter every culture has sounds and things they're afraid of. And if we can tap into that cultural fears of sounds, and we'll talk about sounds and torture soon, things like that. It becomes beneficial, becomes a real threat vector, not just some happy experiment to treat people with. Um, how many people have seen these? How many people? Yeah, these are all our veterans, the people who have seen these. They're using these currently in um, Afghanistan, place like this. They'll, they have bigger models, but they wouldn't let me show any pictures. They were not happy. So uh, what they do is pull them up behind sand dunes, and they play tank sounds at night. And then, the tanks are here, we must run. So, God, I'm gonna crack this stage yet. So we're gonna, and they run away, and then they go in the next morning. Now these are smaller ones. So, but, I mean, think about that. How sounds, the sound of tanks at night when they can't be verified, would strike fear into terrorists, or into insurgents, let's call it. No, it's their country, never mind. It strikes fear, right? I like this one. How many have seen these? Yeah. Oh, more people. Yeah. Uh, how, put your hands up. How many have experienced their, in, their pleasureness? Is that a good way? Anybody been blasted? Yeah. Was it fun? No, that's what they all say and stuff. It, it puts out like an unbelievable. You go to, okay. If you, if you need any knowledge, sad to say, go to YouTube. And almost everything in the world is in YouTube. And they got pictures of this, like dispersing people, so you can really see how well it works. These are really nice. Uh, the machine gun sort of helps, but, you know. And I'm, I'm talking about that little square thing or that stops by anything. Here is the trick of it. Word of God in their head. You surrender or run away. So instead of using the weapon as a large blast weapon, they turn it way down and then speak into it. And it's frequencies you don't know you hear it. It's in your head. So all of a sudden it's like, 
there's a voice in, well, more than one sometimes, there's a voice in my head. And so uh, this is great. It's the same weapon, just turned down. Okay? Here it is in Pittsburgh. We are using it on our own people. It was not on, they said, but I don't know. It was one of the healthcare debates. I think some of those people hear voices anyway. So we are using this not only our enemies. Anybody been to Pittsburgh? Sometimes, yeah. So these are from the healthcare debates. Same weapon, same thing, only being used on you all. Okay. Thank you for this great picture, federal government. This is great. 18.98. Your eyeball vibrates. Remember? It's a fluid filled sack. I mean, we can make anything vibrate if we want the right frequency. So when you're, okay, I know there are people who's going to do this. You're going to create these psychosonic tracks and you're going to make your eyeballs vibrate. Now, <laughs> I'm not saying it works and it's sort of fun when it tingles the back of your eyes, but I take no responsibility for any damage you do to yourselves or your eyeballs. You get these ghost images. They are so... All disclaimers. Everybody heard the disclaimer. <laughs> who saw... Who saw... Um, what was the film? Men Who Stare at Goats. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Do you know that's true? Fighting in the Vietnam era was a little different than what you do now. So, And this is actually part of the same campaign they had. So they play wandering souls. Recordings represent dead people to spook superstitious enemy. Yeah, we knew who we were talking about back then. And this really works. This really works. What are those scary sounds coming out at night? Oh, don't come out of your tunnel. This is great stuff. Problems. <laughs> no, not Neil Diamond is not the problem. <laughs> well, I take it back. Do you know you can weaponize... Neil Diamond, if you want, send it to your mom. So, oh, he's such a good person. So when they got to Jitmo, they were playing this for him. Well, those of you that know the culture, they're not really big music fans and stuff. They basically had a riot. And the PSYOPs people said, oh, yeah, play Coming to America. Well, they kept doing it. 20 days of Eminem and Dr. Dre. Hell, I'd lie for anything. Tell, ask me any question. Get that off my... Yo, yo, I'm a rapper from down south. I don't know nothing, but I sound real. Yeah, that's my rap. Here are the top ten torture songs. <laughs> now, I knew some of these, but take a look at them. Eminem, I knew that. The Barney theme, oh God. 20, 30 hours of the Barney theme. Oh, uh, Metallica, oh yeah, ACDC. Notice how a bunch of these are old things. I, of course, I wouldn't know. Uh, Christina Aguilera, all of these. I like Rage Against the Machine. I didn't know Bodies by Drowning Pool. Any other Drowning Pool people? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I come to realize I was too old to know them, and when I looked them up, it's like, yeah! They are joining my torture club, so. <laughs> Please feel free to torture anybody with sound you want. We are using psychosonic attack vectors against our children. Hey, why not? We use them against old people for healthcare. It's called the mosquito speaker. Most of you probably, anybody own a mosquito? Yeah, I see a couple of people. Does it work? Yeah, a couple of people shaking their heads. Basically what it does, 17 hertz, as you get older, here's a surprise, things don't work as well like your ears. So you don't hear these frequencies as an adult. And if you go into, on the disc, there's uh, areas and it's got websites where you can go in, get your hearing checked and hear the different frequencies, things like this. So 17 Hertz disperses, I love the term from their, their article, troublesome teenagers. Not good Christian or good upstanding teenagers, only troubled like all of you hackers in here. <laughs> 8 hertz takes everybody out. Let's just crank it up to 8 hertz and blow it away. So one of my friends has one of these. She lives near the high school. I said, I said, Rox, can I, can I use this? She's like, you're crazy, man. I don't want him around here. So look for this little speaker near convenience stores, high schools, buildings just outside or around high schools. This is where they have them. And they really are functional. Now, I put one here, but there's several hundred dollars. So they wouldn't give me any. 
I guess I wasn't trustworthy looking. So we are using psychosonic attacks against our children, and they are using them against us. These are mosquito ringtones. Mosquito plus cell phone, a ringtone teachers and parents can hear. <laughs> well, you don't want to leave it on vibrate because it rattles against your book or your desk or something like that. And everybody, then they all get together and have them split the frequencies up. How do you know your children aren't using these? Yeah, because she can hear it. She's young enough. I can't. So I'd be a, I always use them with old teachers, I guess. So does Vegas use psychosonics? Those of you that were at, uh, saw me over at Caesar, sometimes I walk around with my netbook and a microphone. And I'm trying to figure out, are the machines set for psychosonic frequencies to excite you? You know, there's all sorts of, they pump oxygen in, there's no blues, it's all reds and bright colors, there's no clocks out there, there's no clocks. They want to brainwash you subliminally into staying and gambling. You don't know what time it is, hell, it's like, what time is it, breakfast? Okay? So, they do some of these, and especially with the slot machines, it's called the Devil's Triad, like a... Like uh, Mozart would never, or Bach would never end the thing on that because it was the devil's tones. And so uh, it's the sound sirens make, the European sirens. Do, 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 do. I'm a terrible singer, you know the one. So, uh, and I've been recording some of those, trying to pull those apart for later to see if we really do. So if it shows up, uh, anything good shows up, I'll show you how to, uh, I'll put it up on the DC board. Uh, and just a real quick pause, it has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I'd like to thank the DEF CON uh, 406 group from Helena, from Montana. Yeah, we have a DC group in Montana. Thanks for coming out and supporting us, everybody in Montana. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I know it's weird, but we actually have one up there. Uh, slot machines. Okay. Now, the picture on the right is what she used to look like. The other one is what you know she looks like. So I, I think she's got a weapon supplier somewhere. So I did more digging on this young lady. So she is an Illuminati puppet run by the master mind controllers. What, what a better person to give more weapons to. I mean, her and Michael Jackson. And, and you can see the little like Illuminati triangle with the eyeballs and stuff. And, like, I love her marketers. They are some of the smartest marketing people I bumped into. I mean, she's great. So doesn't she need more weapons? Of course she does. Let's talk about how we make these psychosonic files, and then we'll get into the demos and things like that. Perfect timing. Your frequency determines your mood. I just gave you the frequency. That's pretty easy. You embed them into an MP3 and you can play them through your headphones. The binaurals work the best, but the isosynchronous and the monaurals also function. All right? I'm using, here's the frequencies. I want to make sure everybody grasps where we're going with all of these. Um, I tend to use, if you use the like four hertz or lower, you like fall asleep or worse, and you're like, Ugh. Okay, so try and stay away from those. Yeah, yeah, these really are, these are pretty much fun. So, Gnarl, it's been, okay, I had my first copy on a floppy disk. That's how old it is. And I'm going to be demoing, showing, it's really a great play. Brain Pro, uh, Brainstem Pro by Laurel is out there. It's a good one. Audacity and Lame is not what it is. You all know it's like for runs in the other stuff. And um, it's, there's a couple binaural albums out there. So just go to music and search binaural. Um, I'm going to be using Gnarl and Audacity because Gnarl lets you create the actual psychosonic like stream and then Audacity lets me inject it. Now these two usually aren't put together, it's not quite, one's for pillaging files off, Audacity, you just plug it both in, record the Pandora or whatever you want, Soma, I really like Audacity. Um, and uh, Gnarl is the same way, both free, free. I love that phrase. Here's Gnarl, and, and when I'm done with the stupid PowerPoint, I'll pull up the programs themselves. I'll show you what they look like. And uh, basically, what I want you to notice is the little upbeats every so often. 
Now the really, the long ones, the one you pay for, run about 30 minutes. I tend to only object them about three or four minutes, take a space, three or four minutes, and take a space, because that's how MP3s are. You know, just regular pop sounds. Um, and then they drop off. So notice you start at a higher frequency on the uh, left-hand side, and then it drops down, and then you bring yourself up with a little frequency and drop yourself back down and just keep going. This keeps you from falling asleep or doing, you know, seeing demons in your head or something, I guess. And then you trail off on the bottom. There's ones up on the top where I can actually, uh, not close enough, oops. No, I don't see it. Uh, I have adjusters on the, on the left side, and I can connect balance, and then uh, on the other side, I can change basically the whole 3D imaging. How many people have listened to those 3D imaging binaural with a barber and a bunch of people cutting their hair around you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was interesting. It's like getting a haircut. You can hear scissors all around you. And they make binaural recording, like two microphones out of your ear, all the standard stuff. So it's a pretty comfortable program to use. Here's Audacity, and this is actually the, the psychosonic stream on the top, and on the bottom is the song. Okay? So this is what they look like. So it's really, I'm finding it difficult to separate out the psychosonic sub, we're using filters, from the actual style, the actual song. So, but that's why I'm doing like machines and stuff. So then you just put them both together and that's really the easy part. Let's talk about psychosonic drugs. Uh, months ago when I sent this in, I'm like, what psychosonics? It's been in Wired Magazine, it's been on CNN, it's like the hottest, don't let your kids do these type of drug thing. It's like, okay, um, I've actually uh, included one of the commercial ones on here too. Uh, they gave me permission to give every, I said, well, I'm, I'm speaking at a security conference and, and they're interested. I said, I didn't say I was speaking, giving this to hackers so we can have fun with it, but yeah. <laughs> Hey, what they don't need to know and stuff. Uh, why are CNN the new drug damaging our children and stuff? So uh, let me pull up a real quick. Let's play. Hi, audio guy. I'm going to start some uh, tunes so I don't want you to blow everybody away here. Uh, let's see. Unmute it. I find if I unmute it plays better. And it would be I are technically suave. And I scraped this off, not the best scrape in the world, but, you know, what do you want for a free scrape? Play, media, play. Yeah, I know, it's Windows. <laughs> play. I love my netbooks, but sometimes I hurt them. <laughs> this is my second one. Play. Okay, I'm going to minimize him, I think. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Is it Miller time yet? Oh, let's see. Oh, there he is. Making me happy. a stand against the latest internet craze. Have you ever heard of this? It's called iDosing. And websites are luring kids with free downloads of so-called digital drugs, which are audio files designed to induce drug-like effects. Adriana Ivashinsky has just returned from Mustang Live with the details on this alarming new trend. I've got to admit it, I've never heard of it before. Kelly yeah, Pans really need to listen up on this one. That's because all kids need to experience these digital drugs are headphones, their computer, and an MP3 player. Wow. One of the websites that tap and say they're a safe and legal way to get high, the theory is it could lead to illegal drug use. Oh, no! <laughs> Digital drugs, drugs are all over the internet, touting a free, legal, safe way to get high. Oh my god. And images of teenagers trying it are all over YouTube. It's these images that has a lot of parents, educators, and law enforcement officials with the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics concerned. Kids are going to flock to these sites just to see what it's about, and it, it can lead them other places. It sounds like this. By the world. And 
uses binaural or two-tone technology to alter your brain waves and mental state. Kelly Johnson is a parent and teacher and had never even heard of eye dosing or oh, digital no. drugs until now. It's just scary, definitely scary, uh, to know that, you know, just one more thing, <laughs> one more thing to look out for. Recently, Mustang Public Schools sent out a letter warning parents about the new trend after several high school students reported having physiological effects after trying one of these digital downloads. Students and graduates are still talking about it. Oh, I heard it was like some weird like demons and stuff through an iPod or something and he was just freaking out. People should be concerned about it. It's not saying that it should just be overlooked. We have never come across anything like this. Nope. And anything that is going to cause these physiological effects in a student, that causes us concern. Mustang schools are doing what they can to put a stop to it, including cracking down on the use of cell phones and other technology while on Cell campus. Phones. We, we oh, tried very hard to be vigilant, and we ask that the parents, you need to be vigilant too. And the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics tells us that parental awareness is the key to preventing future problems, since eye dosing could very well indicate a willing to experiment with drugs. So that's why we want parents to be aware of what sites their kids are visiting and not just dismiss this as just something harmless on the computer. If you want to reach these kids and save these kids and keep these kids safe, parents have to be aware and they've got to take action. Now another concern OBN has is that many of these eye dosing websites lure visitors to actual drug and drug paraphernalia sites. So actual Kelly, this is yet another reason why parents really need to be proactive and not only talk to their kids, but check what they're downloading. Parents just cannot let the gorge down at all, can they? So uh, all of a sudden all of this showed up. So let's cook drugs for a while now. It's still legal. You never know when it'll go away though. So. All right, let's pull up some of the software here, and Ganoral. Now, the easiest way to start to work with Ganoral is to take what they have and then cut it down so it fits what you really want, um, your way of doing it. And notice here is the actual, here's the screen we looked at. And it's, oh, I mean, this one's the easy. You just drag it around whatever frequencies you want. Okay, I want this one, I want that one. Notice how they put the, this is the sample, little bumps in here to bring you around. Frequency, we start at one frequency. Your ear, here's how the whole thing easily works. If I put 500 hertz in one ear, if I put 510 hertz in the other ear, your ears cancel the 500 hertz. You're left with that 10 hertz sound. Okay, now, how big a sonic tuba are you gonna make, need to make a 10 hertz sound? I mean, you got speakers like horse big. So that's why this is a better way of doing it. You can plug almost any frequency in there, pick the second uh, embedded frequency. I always embed mine in pink noise. Remember, dirty white noise is pink noise. So you really don't even notice it. So the, it just plays out. I'll give you a real quick, hello audio guy. I'll give you a real quick sample of what they sound like. It's really pretty stupid. I know. Notice how the volume then goes up near the end and the balance, sometimes you can rotate the balance through, uh, there's one of them, you can rotate the balance so it like basically spins and some of the ones, I samples I put on your disc, get them out, play with them. This program, as I said, has been around for floppy days and it's actually pretty nice. It runs well. I tried to get a hold of the author and say, hey, come on out to DEF CON. It's like, this website and this, uh, everything has been closed, everything. You can, you can still get it, but there's no way of getting a hold of them. So, All right, so basically you just figure it out, what frequency you want, work it in here, and then you can save them. You can then export them out, uh, export the audio file, and then you can pick what you want. They've got a variety of them. I tend to pick on uh, Microsoft because, I don't know, I can, I guess. So they're an easy target. So you can pick basically any type of thing you want. Oh, look, I can use it on my next computer. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like those old things. <laughs> so you just export it out and basically to whatever you want. So this is the first part of it. This is the first part, okay? Figure out how long you want, what frequency, what desired re results you want. Create this stream here, the psychosonic stream here. 
pull the little things up and down. I can do that. Okay. So you've created it, you've saved it off. And that's the first part. That's all there is gently for that. Audacity is the second one. I think, uh, oh yeah, here's the, now here's what poker face looks like with, uh, pulled in through Audacity. So you notice I can easily hide the frequencies inside of here. Now the ones I've put on your disc, I've made them just a hair louder than normal. So you can actually hear when you inject, like a test thing. So you can hear when you inject them. So they actually work. Okay. So this is basically, I figured Poker Face was the best one for Vegas. I mean, what do you want? I mean, now, are you going to notice like 12 hertz in that? No, no, because it's already got the booming bass. It covers it right over. Don't even sense it. Here's a better use for it. Okay, here really is a better use. Instead of making yourself weird, crazy, and like, and demon faces coming out of your MP3 players, <laughs> I have a jogging tape that I use, and I, I cycle it through that. I have uh, I aha moments that I use for uh, contemplating before I go for an exam, or before I have to talk to my in-laws, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've created these over the years, and they, they really do work, some of the positive ones. Now, that leads us to the philosophy, to the, to the psychic drug side work, and no, they are not the acid. I wish I'd saved my $3 and bought a Corona or something. Well, not in Vegas, but I, I, I would have got a better buzz off of it. You want to laugh, go to YouTube. What percent is believing you're going to get high and actually getting high? If you believe it, I mean, okay, we used to scrape banana peels and smoke them. <laughs> I know, that sounds weird, but that was a 70s thing. <laughs> several frogs are like, frogs, fucking really old guys. So, several frogs that, yeah, and you know what? We got high from these scrapes, but no, we just thought we did. So here again, it's subliminal messaging. Oh, this stuff really works. The news is reinforcing it works. You damn well know every kid who watched that news report, yeah. Yeah. What? Hey, let's tell them how to do it and what the web is. Uh, I dash uh, doser.com. Yeah, okay. So, um, and notice that this one, you can bury it in with no problem. I really like this one. Now, you can do a lot with these. The problem is who, th there's not been much current research on it. We really brought them in. We uh, used them back in the 70s, because that's the way the 70s were. And we used everything back then. And, but now I see an actual use for these things. Thank you, sir. So uh, let's see, what else? Oh, let's finish this part up. And here's what I want to challenge you all with. One, create some of these type things. Email me. My email's on there. Email me, and I'm collecting them, and I'll give you credit for it. As in, hey, that's really nice. Okay? So create some. Uh, these are all the really great, uh, the examples from Yale.edu. Oh, yeah, they have great examples to download. They, they actually do research on this stuff. So anybody from Yale, thank you very much for making my job easier. Uh, let's see. Unexplainable.net. Those are where you can get the ones that will do like the acid and stuff like this. Now, I have committed one error because I left my sonic nauseator in the room. They're called brown frequencies. <laughs> and they were supposed to sit right here, several people I wasn't going to tell. And it actually works. It puts out frequency. So to make up for it, I'll get it, and I'll be playing it in different places over the next couple days. So. <laughs> So if you see me in the room, you may not want to. They're called brown frequencies for a reason, too. And I thought, oh, what happens when a whole bunch of people get up and leave? In our experiments with it, I, I'm, I'm a frog. I had trouble hearing it. But my young staff are like, oh, what's that noise? It's like, and then I made myself sick. I couldn't go to a party. My wife was like, what did you do to us? Yeah. So we've tried it in restaurants, things like that. <laughs> 
the legislature in Montana is starting soon. I could not think. I mean, if I can keep the politicians distracted, what damage can they do then? Oh, I feel nauseated. So I, I tend to like those type things. Uh, okay, where do you buy things like that? Well, you know where you buy those. eBay. Everything you want in the world's on eBay. So pictures of people on toast and stuff. They're like 29 bucks, and I, I, I'll have it with me the rest of the time. So if you see me, we'll plug it in, and we'll just stand somewhere and watch, okay? <laughs> Um, let's see, other things. Now, the binaural and the gnarl are very, very easy to use. Download them. They're back when we used to write manuals and made sense and stuff, so you can actually read them and follow along. They are both binaural. It's very, very easy to use, and there's tons of examples out there for it. Uh, or gnarl, uh, we'll do that. Now, uh, Audacity, if you are into sounds, Audacity is your... How many people are using Audacity? Look around this room. Look around. It's like, whoa, yeah. Wish I had the commission from nothing, but that's okay. It's a great program. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, let's talk about what we've been through here real quick. Tones affect you, period. They affect you, whether they're loud tones at certain frequencies, whether they're soft tones speaking inside your head telling you to do stuff, disrupt the town meeting. Um, let's see. Lower tones sync with your moods, and we have known this forever, that certain alpha, beta, delta, theta waves in your brain produce a certain frequency. That frequency, those frequencies, are what we're trying to get injected. Try some test ones. I recommend some of the more gentle ones because you're going to waste your time making acid-type cooking. It's not going to work for you. So try some of the other ones. I like the airplane one. Works really well. Put on the buds. Wake up when I'm there. I'm like, excellent stuff. Uh, let's see. The longer ones, usually 30 minutes. 30 minute ones. Those are the longer ones. They're, they tend to work better. They always say, a dark room, cover your eyes. And, and, and they say, like to lay down because if you cover your eyes, you won't freak out and the demons won't come out or something. I, I'm still working on that part. Uh, and when you watch them on YouTube, they all tend to be covered or blang or something like that. Um, and as I said, there's tons of samples. Current work I'm doing on all these things. How do we know other current songs aren't using this? How do we know? Trust but verify. Oh yeah, they fixed that map hole patch he broke into at CanSec. Not. So this is the current. Vegas uses it. I'm trying to get my sonic nauseator to work on the phone. So when they call you up or you're working help desk or something, you can like. <laughs> I'll let you know if that works too. Hey, uh, I got to hang up for I'm feeling. Yeah, so I'm into that one. And uh, my email's coming up. Thank you, sir. My email's coming up. Uh, feel free to email me. I am, I am absorbed by all of the head hacking type stuff. If you are not using uh, reading si uh, social-engineer.org, you're missing the easiest attack vector. If you are not doing these, yeah, it's a pretty easy. The last thing in the research, okay, being a nurse, I've worked a lot of intensive cares, people get cranky, are the machines in your environment putting out these frequencies without you knowing it? I mean, think about your work environment. Do you have any machines that make noise? Has anybody ever walked around and measured them? Do you ever work in an office where everybody is cranky as hell? Well, never mind. That's not a good one. Everybody's never. So, you know, think about these. I challenge you. I'm here next year. I've been here for years. So when I'm here next year, the nurse come up to me say, dude, it was really sucky. It didn't work. Or it was great. And my mom let me get a car or something. So, you know, <laughs> use these. Uh, here I am. Um, uh, the nurse, cyber infosec, that's pretty easy stuff, isn't it? I appreciate everybody coming out. I appreciate you listening. People actually paid attention. Nobody was asleep. Damn. So try these. Let me know next year. And psychosonics rule, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>